at a boat launch in Campbell River, Vancouver Island. Drizzly day, we're gonna see how long we can last. The winds are supposed to pick up in a while, the boat launch attendant said, so. Quite a steep boat launch. It's very slippy. Pocket in your vest. Waiting for John to get in the stable boat. Hopefully he doesn't fall in or it'll be a short trip, short day. He's nimble like a cat though for a large man, so there you go. Now the other one, get your ass on the seat. It's like he's a ninja. <laughs> If we get too wet, you can just pick us up, right? <laughs> there, John's comfy like a bug in a rug now. We're doing great footage though, if you Yeah. Once I realized you weren't drowning, I would have laughed. Shay's choppy. There's a ferry over there, but we're trying to go to this island here. We don't know what it's called. There's supposed to be a dive site around here, but uh, it's quite a bit of current. The tide's going out right now, and it's uh, creating little whirlpooly things in the water. Kind of just kicks the, the boat around. Oh, we can kind of see where we have to go back. <laughs> uh, it's like calm here, but it's creepy calm. Oh wow, I'm, look at that. I'm not even moving anywhere, John. It's pushing you, yeah. I wonder if we should go to the other end of this island here. Hold on. Oh, look at that! Woo! Yeah, That's like turning into a river. That's hilarious. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's see what electric motor can do now. Oh, electric motor's doing okay. Good job, electric motor. Well, there's current like right behind us. So these are created by the tide. Anchors, right? You think so? I think so. Just got slack all of a sudden. Going, uh, tide going out. Ebb tide right now. And, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Like what? Like what? It's Puget Sound, Sound King Crab. Dude. Good yes. Work. Good work. What was that? What kind of crab was it again? Puget Sound King Crab. <laughs> I'm pretty excited right now. 
and the camera is looking right at it. Oh, dude. What a shot. There's sea urchins right around this thing. i will be interested to shut all the lights off and now he just looks green. So we just uh, gotta do a high five. High five. 
because Deep Trekker was stuck under this dock, wrapped around two, two chains, and then we pulled him out, took all his fancy cameras off, put him back in, and whew, I was about 20 minutes away from taking my no, he wasn't. No, clothes he wasn't. off and diving no, in, and John was saying no, no, and I said yes. No, he wasn't. I'm not leaving Deep Trekker here for the evening. So, all right. I think it's time to call her a day. Yeah, let's not. Uh, <laughs> One let's, crisis is enough. Yeah, let's not push it. Oh, yeah, motor just died halfway across this little straight here with the tide dripping. Um, we've gone to the electric motor. So hopefully that, uh, you know, will uh, make it about a kilometer always exciting adventures when we're doing road things got the rv stuck motor shut off yeah so here we are the electric motor is still still functioning barely we got a tugboat here that we were worried I was worried we we're gonna move fast enough to get out of its way while it's towing that huge uh, barge so that would not have been as much fun no and we're trying to get to that shore oh it looks like kind of that's what I'm saying going down I don't like that yeah, go there. away from that yeah. maybe a nice tugboat guy would have given us a lift or something mm -hmm. maybe not Probably not. Probably, probably would have laughed at us, yelled at, and what are you idiots doing? Something like that. We're so close. We're hoping it holds together. It's been pulling us a long way down this beach. I think we've made it. Yeah. Yeah. Here's our boat. We were over there on the other side. There's a ferry. <laughs> we got. Oh, about a third of the way across and the motor cut out motor just quit working couldn't get her started so we made it three quarters of the way across that and the current's just ripping um, with our little electric motor uh, it did awesome the electric motor is popular now yeah the currents here in this narrow channel are just crazy so now I gotta walk a couple kilometers to where the boat is, the the beamer is, and uh, yeah, kind of go get the trailer, drive it here, and then we have to carry everything from the beach. Luckily, we can do that; it's just a workout, and uh, better than being stuck out in the ocean. So we've uh, got the boat up this far. <laughs> Motors over there, vehicles there. This is the new row of physical fitness requirements as you have to get a boat from there onto there. Yeah, it's like turtle tracks. Hi, I'm Mark from Rove Explorations. Thank you for viewing this episode. Um, it was a challenging one to shoot just because of the conditions. Uh, we had the ROV get stuck under uh, the dock. And when I'm viewing in the ROV, I can only see like blinders on um, and then when we view it later what you get to see is a 360 view because we have 360 cameras mounted but I don't I didn't see any of those chains uh, that's why I got stuck um, always something exciting happening uh, on this trip of course the motor died on the way back and luckily we had our little electric motor which is now my favorite motor because it saved our bacon um, if you'd like to press like and subscribe, that would help us out to build our channel. We have a lot more episodes coming and I uh, hope to see you in the future. Thank you.